We are warm and comfy inside the Cisco kitchen just as things are heating up with the tavern at Bound Crossing. We've got Cody Cornwall here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for coming in early. We know that uh, normally when you guys are cooking these meals, they're not for breakfast time. <laughs> no. We're glad you make acceptance for us. What do you what do you have in store today? Today I have a king salmon okay. and we're going to pan sear it lightly. All right. And then we're going to top it with a tomato saffron vinaigrette. Ooh, sounds amazing. And tell me a little bit about your salmon. Where you guys where you guys get your fish from? Well, we do something that's a little bit unique. We get our fish from a company called Creative King Salmon and it's out of British Columbia. And the thing that's unique about it is it's called responsible aquaculture. And these days a lot of people are getting um, a bad rap on farm salmon. Um, the thing was that it wasn't done very properly um, to start out with, and nowadays it's, uh, it's come a long ways. Okay. And what they do is they take the indigenous fish and they farm it where it's um, native to. Okay. And that's in British Columbia, and it's, uh, it's the only certified organic fish farm. You guys bring it in. Uh, you guys bring it in here to Idaho as well. Yeah, we bring it in here to Idaho, right. and, and we serve it in a restaurant. And it's just it's something unique. It's something really nice. Okay. And that's, it's a great product. Awesome. So let's get going then. We've got uh, makings for the vinaigrette here as well, I understand, right? Okay. Yeah. So as the pan's heating up, we're going to... Um, heat it up fast. Yeah. <laughs> heat it up a little bit more there for, there. for the searing, right? Because you, you want the high heat yeah. to sear something, right? Okay. High heat to sear something. Then we're going to start on our vinaigrette right now. So we got a few ingredients over here. And we're just going to start those in the pan. Do you have a whisk down there, oh, Spencer? Yeah. We'll see. We've got magical things in here. Let's see what that's we've what got. That's what I thought. Not seeing a whisk right now. We've got a wooden spoon, though. That works. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I started with some garlic, and then we're going to start with some shallots. Okay. Right in here. Which are basically like a mini onion sort of thing, right? Uh, it's like a cross between uh, garlic and shallots. Okay. Or garlic and onion. Garlic Excuse and onion. Okay. Then we're going to go with some scallions. All right. And is this something then, I'm, I'm, is this the finished product that we're looking at over yes, here? Yes, the this finished product over here. looking amazing. And then these are some uh, diced tomatoes that have been peeled and seeded. Okay, and do you have a particular type of tomato that you like to use most for yeah. this? Yes, I like to use Roma tomatoes. I okay. find they have the best flavor for okay. it. They kind of mix well in the vinaigrette. All right. And so now we're going to take here some rice wine vinegar. Okay, which obviously you need vinegar for a vinaigrette, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we got oil here as well? Yep. Oh, just squirt that in there? Yeah, just squirt that in there. All right. Is that enough? You need more? That's, that's enough. All right. All right, and we're just going to start mixing this up in here. And eventually you get to this which is your uh, vinaigrette sauce. You guys serve it on a pan-seared salmon. And we're running out of time here. TV limits us. Normally, yeah. of course, they have pl way more time over it. Tavern at Mountain Crossing, where are you guys located? Uh, we're at the uh, east side of Boise on Park Center. Okay, so head over there. You guys can try some of this, uh, this fresh salmon pan-seared with the tomato vinaigrette. Thanks yeah. so much for being in here this morning with us, Cody. We appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm actually here with Cody, and uh, we're over in the Cisco kitchen. We couldn't just leave it there. We got to finish up this this wonderful salmon that you got going for. So, how are we going to plate this up? I am really curious what we're going to put on it too. Okay, so we're just going to gently take the pan seared salmon out of the plate. Okay, move it right over here. Is there a secret to presentation? Like, what's the one thing that you could tell somebody besides just throw it on the plate? Um, don't clutter it. Don't just do clutter. a few. Just do a few things uh -huh. uh, to focus on the center of the plate, which is usually the protein, and you know. Have some color, have some balance, okay, and uh, most of all, have fun with it. Yeah, let's have some fun. What's all this fun stuff we got in all these bowls okay. here? So these are kind of the ingredients, the tom tomato saffron vinaigrette that we put okay. here. Uh, the recipe is online. Oh, so all of these are going to make up into that. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. The recipe is online. It's best if it does sit overnight to mm -hmm. kind of marinate and get all those flavors in there. We're just going to put a little bit of this on top of the salmon. And say that again, once again, what is that? It's a tomato saffron vinaigrette. Tomato saffron vinaigrette. Wait, the saffron's the really like red, expensive little... Yeah, it's a little expensive, but ah. you don't have to use very much. It's, it's actually the... That was uh, what I was going to say next. It's expensive because you don't use very much of it, right? Yeah, and it's, it's actually from the crocus flower. All right, so yeah, we actually be. have planned this that uh, Spencer doesn't get to try any of this, so we're going for the salmon. Of course. Got to get some of the little saffron and the tomatoes here. Are you watching, Spencer? You ready for this? Stop. Is it bad? Like I tell you, it's bad. It's <laughs> terrible, actually. You shouldn't have any of it. So, Cody, thank you so much for uh, coming by and uh, make, helping me make Spencer jealous. I'll get you a fork, too. We'll share. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> 